Hello, I'm Sarah Grady Ackerman. The 2011 Florida Book Awards bronze medalist in the general fiction category is titled Coming to a Midwestern Tale. It's the debut work of Karen Umbarger, and she's here to tell us about her work. Welcome, Karen. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. And wow, first time around, you, this is your debut work, and you come away with a medal. <laughs> How does that feel? It's thrilling. I'm just hugely honored and um, validated as a writer. Oh, wow, that's this good. Award. I like the way that you put that, feeling validated. Now, you live in St. Augustine, but yes. um, the setting of this book is actually in this small Iowa town where you grew up, right? That's right. So tell us about, give us the, the plot. Well, it's a story, um, it's set on the eve of the Great Depression, mm -hmm. uh, late October of 1929. It takes the story takes place over four days, and it's the story of one woman's journey to self-discovery and self-determination hmm. in a time and in a setting that sought to discourage those things in women. Hmm. Now, with you being from that area, how mm -hmm. much of this is, uh, you know, is reflected of your personal life or your, you know, your personal experiences? Well, a writer brings everything that's ever happened to them mm -hmm. to the to the writing of their story that's for sure but um i wasn't even born when this right, of story course. was written i so wasn't suggesting it's that it's pure <laughs> fiction it's pure fiction okay so mm -hmm. um tell us a little bit more about um, the characters and all right the woman the woman's name is lillian sharf mm -hmm. she's a young married woman a college graduate actually um she and her husband are uh, members of the small Jewish community in that town mm -hmm. of um, Mason City, Iowa. Um, her husband is a, a businessman in town and a community leader. Mm -hmm. And he's well thought of in the town and um, treats her with um, disdain and mm. a great, he's a very controlling man mm -hmm. at home. Um, she is a, was an actress in college and sees in the paper an, an opportunity to try out for a community play and needs to, um, seeks and, and achieves his permission to mm. participate in the play. Right. Um, and when she goes to the play, she, um, she and the director of the play kind of hit it off oh. and sparks fly. So over the course of four days, her life changes completely. Wow, so it sounds like there's a lot of uh, themes, a lot of things there going on. There are many themes in this <laughs> book. It's a many themed so book. So when, when, when your readers um, turn that last page, what are you hoping that they, um, what's that lasting impression? What do you hope they take away from this? Oh, I would say um, that humans, in spite of all their wonderfulness, are fragile creatures, and that relationships are fragile. Hmm. That, um, each person is responsible for and has the right to seek their own destiny, mm -hmm. men and women, mm -hmm. and that um, no obstacle is too great yeah. when you seek your heart's desire. Right. So an empowering, uh, an empowering message. I hope so. I hope so. Well, I see here that you are you're a professional musician. Yes. And, but you've always had uh, a love for reading. You've been an avid reader. So how did you go from professional musician to now award-winning author? <laughs> I'll try to tell this story quickly. I, I was teaching in my home in Minneapolis and received a call from a woman who wanted to buy violin lessons for her husband. Mm -hmm. I, do I teach adults? Yes, of course I teach adults. So he came to his first lesson and was an African-American gentleman. Uh -huh. and he came in and we had a wonderful lesson and um, he, he told me that he taught creative writing at the University of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, um, you know, that's great. And I didn't say anything about being a writer at that time. But uh -huh. at the end of the lesson, he, he told me that he wrote the novel Amistad for Steven Spielberg. Wow. And the man's name is Alex Paid, and he's <laughs> quite a renowned author. Uh -huh. So after about four months, I got up the nerve to tell him that I was a writer. Mm -hmm. Alex, I think, I'm a writer. I said, I'm a writer. <laughs> I think. And he said, well, what have you written lately? And I said, well, it's been about 20 years mm -hmm. since I've really written. So he gave me some writing prompts. And um, I, he came back to a lesson, clutching them in his hand. Honey, there's gold in them, our hills. Mm -hmm. So we bartered violin lessons for <laughs> writing <laughs> okay. lessons. On my in my violin studio for many years mm -hmm. took me five years to write this book and when I moved away from Minneapolis in 2010 um, he could play Neil Young on the violin and I had a manuscript for a novel 
Wow. Well, we are so thankful for that partnership that you all <laughs> I am uh, too. put together. And again, thank you so much for your time and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks. The Florida Book Awards are presented annually to recognize, honor, and celebrate the best Florida literature. The program is coordinated by the Florida State University Libraries and co-sponsored by these groups that promote books by and for all Floridians.